Hey guys, so right now I'm at my house and I'm getting ready for the Eras Tour concert movie and I just got home from work. <laughs> this is so weird, I never do anything like this. So basically I'm gonna do like a little get ready with me because I'm so excited for the concert. Um, I wanted to show you guys the things that I got on the way to work today because I like, I needed glitter hairspray because this is my hair, I already did it for work and this is like how I went with it because I didn't want to have to redo it because I only have like an hour to get ready before I have to leave again. And I did the red rubber bands in it because I'm going as the reputation era and I have my outfit right over there. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited for my outfit. I can't wait to show you guys, but I wanted to do like glitter hairspray in my hair like on top of this. I have like 50 eyeshadow palettes and they don't, I don't none of them have red in it. So I got this. I don't know how well this is even going to work. Alright, so I just got back, I washed my face, and now I look really weird, but because it's like all wet and stuff like that, but I'm gonna do my nice and nice serum and my moisturizer, so I'm gonna do that right now. I also did my nails last night, um, I got home really late because I was working two birthday parties, and I was working public, and I worked three shifts, and it was so much, um, but I got home late because there was a game after two, and then I did my nails, they're like white, like not white, but like they're like that like creamy white color with stars on them and they're really cool. Like I really wanted to go to the Ares tour, but I didn't get to go because like tickets are so expensive. <laughs> and I probably wouldn't have gotten them anyways. But one of my friends invited me to go to the Ares tour with her this past year when she was in Tampa. Um, and she had like an extra ticket and she invited me to go with her, but I didn't go because I had like a thing for skating. So I'm going to the movie now and I'm very excited. I don't know what I'm going to try and do. I want to do something that's like red, which is why I got like this. And I also, they're over there, but I got like face stones and I'm going to do that on my face to kind of like, I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm so, like, I'm, I already told you guys this, but I'm so excited about my outfit because I made it, um, so there was, like, this one vision that I had in my head and I couldn't find anything that I liked, but I've already had this idea to make this for a very long time, but I just never did, and now, like, ever since I got tickets, I've had an excuse to do it. I'm gonna do my concealer, just, like, basically under my eyes and stuff like that. I'm not gonna do too much. I don't really want to do, like a lot of makeup now i look stupid but i wanted to give you guys a story time of what happened at work today because it was very interesting and it was so much fun so today i didn't have any birthday parties but i was skate guarding which that was so much fun <laughs> um there's so many little kids that like i knew one of them was my student and he came with his dad to practice um like he's one of my kids from learn to skate and he's so cute he's so much fun like he's four <laughs> he's so tiny he kept running into the cones and knocking them over and then like whenever i'd go to like kind of like fix the cones then he would say that he wanted to do it and like he'd take the cones out of my hand and then he'd put it up which was so cute um and i don't know i thought that was cool and then there's this other little kid who was three and, and oh my god he's like the cutest little thing ever i was watching over like the walkers and all this stuff and like i've had them like kind of stacked and i uh would like kind of like make a chair out of them so like i could have like a little place to sit kind of and like after like he came up and was like i want to sit on a chair too and so i like picked him up and i like sat him on the chair and like i held him there because i don't want to let him go because he's really tiny and i don't want him to fall off because yeah um so i just held him there for like a couple seconds and he was having the time of his life he was so excited about that and then afterwards he kept like bending down behind the walkers and then like popping back up and he would go pew pew and so I that was so much fun and then afterwards I told him I was like hey buddy I feel like you go and skate for the rest of the public skate because this was at like two o'clock and public ended at 2 30 so I told him I was like if you go and skate for the rest of public skate with your dad then at the end of public skate I'll come and get you and I'll let you do the buzzer and so um he went and he skated with his dad and then at the end of public I went and I got him and I took him into like the box and he got to press the button and he was so excited about it and like he was so excited about the button pressing so that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm also very sorry. I talk too much. If the angle changed, uh, 
don't come at me because I just have to put my phone on the charger because it's at like 75% and I don't want it to die. But I'm going to do my eyebrows now. Um, also, I'm not telling you guys what products I'm using. I'm really bad at that. Literally everything I own is from e.l.f. So if e.l.f. happens to watch this video, please sponsor me. I love you so much. You're so amazing. Um... Yeah, so now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Like when I, I ordered it online, like I didn't order it, like I didn't buy it what in like in a store or anything. Like I ordered it off their website and like on the website this color seemed so dark and like I didn't want to get like a super dark one. But I'm gonna do my blush and I love blush so much. Guys, I'm so bad at making get ready with me videos because I don't know. This feels so wrong to me but i don't know maybe one day i'll be famous and then i'll it'll be less awkward i don't know that's how i basically that's how i justify anything maybe one day i'll be famous <laughs> all right so now i'm gonna do highlighter um i'm just gonna go like that oh my god my room is so dark the only reason why it's so bright right now is because i'm literally using a lamp so my inspiration for the outfit was her outfit that she wore on tour so it's like the black with the red snake so that's why i'm doing red and like that kind of stuff but i know she has like that green snake hoodie or whatever but like my inspiration was the tour outfit because i was obsessed with like the black with the red so that's that's what we're doing anyways guys i'm so excited for the movie because i'm okay i'm so excited for the movie but i'm also kind of upset because i heard that she cut long live from the set list and i'm like what that's one of my favorite songs so i have a bunch of bracelets and i made a couple of them that were literally inspired by long live i have my elf palette and i do like this little like tan shade on my eyelids like literally every single time i do eyeshadow because it like kind of evens out my skin tone and i have a lot of veins on my eyelid and it kind of like gets rid of it so that's what i'm doing right now so that's that i'm thinking that i might go in with like one of these like tan colors just like this lighter tan like right here like this one right there so that i can kind of like create an outline for what i want to do with the red i don't know you guys i don't know what i'm gonna do i also switched my brush because this is my fluffy one that's kind of like what i'm thinking of doing with the red oh my god i'm so scared hang on okay all right that's not too bad i can deal with that all right so that's kind of like what it <laughs> hope for the best Oh my god, this is so scary. Because, like, now, like, if I'm... I'm not even going to talk. Give me two seconds, but... I want to do glitter on my eyelids. Because I really like sparkles. Like, glitter anything and I'll be happy. Literally, my entire outfit is all glitter. Um, but it's also like red, white, and black. So I feel like if I did kind of something like that, um, I don't know. I might, what, okay. I'm gonna stop talking because this is, this video is gonna be like five hours long if I don't. I just looked at myself. Oh my God. Okay, wait. I really hope that I don't end up looking crazy. So this is what we're working with right now. <laughs> I did the red and then I took, I did it a little bit under my eye. I feel like once I actually finish it, it's gonna look so much better. In person, it looks better. It doesn't, like it looks orange on camera, Um, but, oh God. But I took like a little bit of black in like my outer corner like this and then i kind of blend that out and it ended up making like the red look a little bit like more red and less orangey all right that's definitely not gonna work um i also need to get better at closing my mouth whenever i do my makeup because i feel like i always have it like literally what i'm like i'm just oh my god 
I think it kind of like actually does pull everything together, but I want to do like more white. A little bit. Oh my god. That's blinding. Um, also, I didn't tell you guys. My show starts at. Why do my arms look like this? My show starts at 6 or 6 30. I'm not 100% sure when it starts, but I've already had these tickets since like she announced the tour we're not going to an amc theater um like it's gonna be a cmx theater because this is the one that's closest to us and it's like one of my favorite theaters ever because they have like recliners and everything and i don't know i think it's just gonna be more comfortable and nicer <laughs> why did i say it like that um but i don't know a lot of people went to like the amc theater but i didn't because i don't know but i have the tickets i've had the tickets since she announced tour and i'm literally so 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 excited i literally can't find my black eyeliner and i literally need that i'm gonna do my black in my waterline um i'm not gonna talk at all so i'm just gonna cut this and then i'll come back after i do it because um uh, it takes a while <laughs> okay so it's currently 5:45. And I have like no time because we have to leave the house. Or no, it's 4.45, sorry. Um, we have to leave the house really soon if we want to get there in time. And obviously I want to get there in time. So I'm just trying to hurry up because I also still have to get changed and everything. I also need to eat because I haven't eaten. So, oh my God, I still have to do my stones. All right, I'm gonna do my eyelashes next. I curl my lashes. I don't know which eyeshadow I'm gonna do. Or oh, mascara. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um. So I'm just gonna stop talking for a little bit. But I think I'm just gonna do this as like a first layer, and I'll just combine my two favorites. Um. I hope I don't cry <laughs> because. I, I don't know. <laughs> I always have waterproof mascara. That's like literally the only thing I wear. But literally all of my favorite mascaras are not waterproof. But it is what it is. Um, so I'm going to go in with this mascara. Alright, so these are all of like the stones and everything. And it comes with tweezers, which is really nice. I also thought I didn't do my inner corner, but I'll do that after. That's fine. And I was thinking I could do... Maybe like a snake that came like this and then maybe like went to like my eye or something. I don't know, like maybe like that and then like back out. I don't know what it would look like because that's... And then do it as like red, white, black, red, white, black, whatever. <laughs> Trust the process, please. I know I'm... Okay, so we gotta move and walk. No, I don't. Oh my god. Why? Okay, I actually really like it. Okay, I think that that's what, just what I'm gonna do. It's like kind of like a little sick, but it's all rhinestones. And then now I need to do my lipstick. I'm gonna do this red like lipstick before i show you guys what my um hoodie looks like the one that i made i wanted to show you guys my shoes like oh my god these are my black converse and literally today i was just like looking at them and i was like i had such like the amazing most amazing idea popped into my head ever but like i had these black converse for like a while now i haven't worn them because i got like a pair of gray ones and i wear those with everything because they just match everything um so i was like what if i did these because they're black and white and then i took out the white laces and changed them to like this red ribbon and i'm kind of excited i think they look really cool and they're like kind of shiny now too because it's ribbon okay guys i have it with me and Here's my hoodie. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with it. I literally made it. I have to stand up so that I can show you guys, but it's like this, it's black, and it has like a sparkly red snake, the white outline, and it has all of like the song titles, like Ready For It, Getaway Car, So It Goes, all that stuff. And it looks like it goes through like the pocket, and each song title has like a rhinestone in between it. 
and the back oh my gosh this is my favorite part about it it's reputation let me move that up it's a reputation fully bedazzled i'm literally obsessed with it and then also on the sleeve i did um oh my god this This, that's like and in the death of her reputation she felt totally alive and it has like the spotify code for the reputation album and if you scan it it actually works and i'm like yes that's perfect um so yeah this is my hoodie i made it and i'm literally so excited and it also like the snake goes down the arm so i'm gonna go get dressed and i'm gonna show you guys what everything looks like together and i'm just gonna wear leggings with it because i didn't feel like wearing jeans because i wanted to be a little bit more comfortable so i'll be right back all right so i did like a little angle change and i'm gonna do like a fit check for you guys so this is my makeup uh, oh my god my hair i have all my red rubber bands in it and then this is my outfit oh my gosh i think it looks so cool so i have my hoodie and when i put my arms out like this it makes a snake and then on this side i have my like logo thing and then i'm also gonna put all my bracelets on my wrist like that and then in the back i have the reputation logo and then also look at my shoes they look so cool like they're white black and red and they match literally everything oh my god <laughs>
remember like, why, why am I just doing, what is this? Why? Anyway, um, so <laughs> with this tour, I remember people would come up to me and they'd be like, so you put out like five albums that you haven't done tours for, so what's your plan? Like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna just like, do a show with like all, all the albums in it and it'll be like, what, it'll be like a three and a half hour long show? And I was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be called the Eras Tour. See you there.
glad you hear that because there, there is one more song that I was wanting to play you from the Red album. Um, if you happen to have about 10 minutes to spare. cabin to LA. So um, Folklore is an album that I'm extremely proud of and um, I started, uh, huh. Aww. thanks. <laughs> I immediately was picturing this album taking place in the woods in an imaginary cabin in my fantasy, in my imagination, I am not a lonely millennial woman covered in cat hair, um, watching 700 hours of TV a day. In my imagination, I am like a, like a woodsy Victorian lady who is wandering through the forest, holding like a candle stick holder thing, and like, you know, collecting feathers to make my own quill to write on parchment paper. It was a whole thing. That was, that was how I pictured myself when I was writing Folklore. And then I was like, you know, maybe, maybe I should do some other things different on this album. Maybe I should try creating characters and having these characters fall in love and break up. And... One of my favorite um, characters that I created is, uh, I, I call it the teenage love triangle. The catalyst character is this teenage boy named James. And he really screws things up with the love of his life. And he has to apologize to her and try to make it right. And long story short, her name is Betty. <laughs>
welcome to the acoustic set. When I dreamed up the idea of the Eros tour, I thought it would be really fun to sort of go back through all these different phases I've had musically, because it's been, I mean, it's been a little bit of everything. You have been so kind to me in letting me explore genres and, and step outside boxes that are created for us in the music industry, and that's only because of you that I get to do that. So thank you. Because it's just so much fun. It's just so much fun to get to play and to get to experiment and to get to grow as an artist. But I did want to play a song just to, to thank the people who liked me when I was a little teenager writing songs for my ninth grade talent show. Alright guys, so we just came out of the theater and it's pitch black. I was gonna do like a vlog for you guys and like I vlogged my whole like makeup routine. Some of my gems already fell off and I'm really sad about that. Oh, but also we did the hairspray in my hair and look how sparkly it is. But it's pitch black outside and the movie's already over and I was gonna do like a vlog for you guys but when we got to the theater, we got here like a little bit late. Like the movie started at six and we got here at like five. 54 so we were headed inside and I didn't have time to say anything to you guys So I didn't record anything before the movie happened, but I got so many cool like videos During the movie and it was so nice <laughs> I also said that I wanted to trade bracelets and I traded two I still have all these on this arm and I have all these on this arm um, But they're like the theater was like not packed at all like the arrow had like 
two girls that were sitting right next to us and then there was like two older people and on both sides like two and then two and then um in the back there were like a couple other people but I didn't get to see those people like and I didn't get to give them bracelets but the two girls that I did trade with were really really nice and they really liked the bracelets the one of them took the picture to burn bracelet that I made and the other one took um my don't blame me bracelet I also know I've been saying trade, but I didn't trade it. I just gave it to them. I asked if they wanted a bracelet because I've had I have so many. Like I literally have plenty. So I was like, "Do you guys want a bracelet?" And they were like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." And I like I get I let them choose which one they wanted. So that was fun. <laughs> I also wanted to show you guys. They had I didn't know that they did that at this theater because I knew they did it for the AMC theaters, but we went to one that wasn't an AMC theater. But they had the popcorn buckets, so I got one. I got a popcorn bucket. And I also got one of their cups. <laughs> I'm literally so excited about these because they're reusable. So I told my mom, I was like, whenever we eat popcorn and like we do movies, I'm using this bucket. And then this, I'm probably going to use for my coffee in the morning. And I'm so excited about it. But now we're basically just going to head home because tomorrow I have school and I have skating and everything. It, it's like... I don't know what time it is, it's like 9 something, but the movie was really really good and I'll put like a bunch of clips that I got during like the different songs and she did like so many and like a lot of them were my favorite songs and it was really fun and yeah, so I'm basically just gonna end it here, so I'll see you guys in my next video, love you guys, bye!